it is about to go down. Today I woke up at 3 a.m. man. I'm a little bit loopy right now, but we are over here in New Jersey. We took a decent drive over here. We're at Round Valley Reservoir. Now this body of water is really cool for a couple different reasons. This is like the second deepest lake, I think, in New Jersey. Filled with a bunch of species, especially the one we're gonna be targeting here today. It's one that I've never caught before. We're going after the lake trout. I'm at the boat launch here right now, guys. Look how freaking calm this is. This water is like glass, man. It's about eight ish a.m. right now I, it took us a while to get here i'm literally so excited for this man we're gonna be doing like an interesting sort of fishing here so i'm here with my buddy jimmy and his friend zach who actually owns a bait shop here yeah man he has a boat y'all are gonna see man this thing is freaking crazy dude. never fished like this before never fished at this body of water never fished for the species now, there's a whole bunch of other stuff here too that we could potentially catch i'm getting blinded by the sun my hands freezing let's get this adventure started here today We can't plug this out because it's freaking ice right here. So I had to take this lighter. It's freaking melted off. Oh, man. All right, y'all, so we're warming up the motor right now. We're going to be trolling today. Dude, how many freaking rods are on here, man? Let's see. One, two, three. Fourteen? <laughs> Fourteen rods. And extra just sitting there just in case. We got Jimmy here. We got the man over here. This dude knows everything. You know the lake like the back of your hand, right? Pretty much, yeah. This is going to be sick, dude. So we're going to be trolling stuff. We'll, we'll show you a little bit later. You think we're going to catch some fish, dude? Oh, yeah. Trout, it's going to be on fire. Should be good today. All right, dude. This is going to be so cool. So just warm up the motor. We're going to be good to go. So we're at 90 feet of water. Yep. And just letting out the line, and this will be how far it's behind that ball, and that ball will get you down to whatever depth you want. How much weight is a ball? Uh, eight pounds. Jeez, dude. It's like a freaking bowling ball. So y'all can see, he drops the big ball right there. The back couple rods were actually rigged with this thing. Eight pound cannonball, pretty much. These were the deepest rods. And then we also had planer boards set up on each side of the boat. As you guys see, the little flag things right here. Fish bites. The flag goes down. Now, these are rigged with weighted line to help the lure sink, you know, instead of the big cannonball. Each rig was strategically spaced out and at different depths. Now, on these setups, we threw a variety of lures. You see little spoons. We threw little plugs. It's definitely a process, man. I mean, it took a long time to set up, but we had a bunch Bunch of rigs in the water and I had a good feeling about it. So you just saw the flag like doom doom or you just saw it like go down? Yeah, the flag will go down and the uh, and the board will usually pull back. If it's real big fish, the whole board goes under that. Alright, so this is the process. You gotta take the board off. You got it's like a team process out here. What do you think it is? Uh, probably a rainbow. That's rainbow? A that water is so clear. Holy crap. Netman, let's yeah. go dude. What do we have there? Rainbow. Rainbow. Rainbow, rainbow trout? Sleeping. Yeah, oh yeah, he's bleeding, so I guess we'll keep him. But he's a good size. There we go, y'all. First fish of the day. Nice little rainbow trout, man. That, uh, that got that guy. Uh oh, you hooked up? <laughs> yeah, literally right after that first one, dude. Small one right here. Oh, oh there you go, dude. That's pretty sick. That's pretty fish in here. Yeah, that's a very yeah. pretty fish. So those are stocked, right? Yeah. All the rainbows are stocked, and then the, the lake trout, like, are not stocked? Yeah, they're all, they're all uh, naturally reproducing. Right hand or trio. Swing the rod from all the way up and back so that way I can really quickly get it. That's pretty good. Cool. <laughs> Trying not to slip. Alright. Yeah, it's jumping her. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm freaking slipping over here. Yeah, it's right the side. Oh my god. <laughs> First ever. <laughs> First ever fish from trolling and I foul hooked it dude. That's a lamprey mark? Yeah, lamprey mark. What the heck? First fish of the day for me. Nice little rainbow truck. Can you see that lamprey mark right there though? Uh, uh, right yeah, right there. yeah, your pinky. Yeah, there you right go. There. Get a little closer. There you go. Oh dude, man. How do you like the colors on the Round Valley trout? What do you say? I mean, I'm colorblind. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But no, but they, it definitely looks cool, man. It looks more like a like a fresh salmon color yeah, and yeah. then it does like the rainbow trout they stock like in our creeks. And yeah, 16. Drop them in. With his buddy. Oh. Dude, that's, uh, that's nice and warm. What does it say? The water temp? Everything's icy, bro. I'm trying to walk around this boat. I was trying to walk backwards and it's like slipping. Ice skating out here. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Thank you.
That is a freaking, they're so cool looking. Yeah. Like seriously, the pattern on them is like really cool. All right, so I was over here flying the drone. Zach actually just got on the first lake trout of the day, man. This is, uh, this turned out to be pretty productive. We already have three rainbows in there, one lake trout. Oh, let me not lose this drone here. Let's go. Dude, that's a nice fish. That's a real nice lake trout. Holy oh. crap. Dude, what the heck? Look at that. What is that in its mouth? A big shiner. That's sick. So I guess that's what they're feeding on. So what'd you say, like compared to average, is that like big? It's about average. Bro, I swear I'm not meant to fly a drone. All right, so what y'all didn't just see there, I was flying my drone and then it kind of lost signal and we were, I don't know, it was, it was a big mess. But they actually hooked up with two fish right there. You got a nice rainbow, nice lake trout. I'm still looking for lake trout. Fish of the day right there, dude. Oh! Now I feel like I'm back at home. Yeah, I could definitely relate to that catch. Got him. Is that lake trout? Yep. Lake Ooh. First one, bro. <laughs> Let's go, dude. First lake trout ever. All right, y'all. That's the first lake trout I've ever caught. Get this guy back in the water here. That is freaking cold, dude. Oh, look goes. at that. It's so clear. Yeah, that water is freaking clear, dude. He's going right back down there. I still could see him. Holy smokes. Ooh. That was sick, dude. Yep. Yo, yo, bite. Something on it? Yeah, something's on it. Whoa! Oh, man. Hey, that's a decent fish. Woo! Yeah, that's a lot better than that first one, dude. That's a nice freaking fish. They're just like so cool looking too. Oh, dude, look at all that stuff in his mouth. Those shrimp? Those oh, are those yeah. little Go shrimp in there. Yeah. Dude, it's filled with shrimp in there. Let's see if I can take a photo in there so we can screw something. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put this guy back. Dude, that's a nice freaking fish, dude. Thank you. Whew. Dude, that's sick. That's literally on our way back to the dock. Oh, my God. I have my freaking fingers are... <laughs> yeah, dude, that water is cold. This wind is picked up, too. That was really freaking cool, though. A lot bigger than the first one. Whew. All right, y'all, as you guys saw, man, that was actually a really fun day. Right now, I'm back here where I started. We're over here at Zach's Bait Shop here. This is Round Valley Bait and Tackle. How do you think it went, dude? Uh, pretty good. Yo, shout out to Zach for getting me on my very first lake trout, man. If you guys are ever around the area or if you aren't around the area and want to come here, man, Round Valley Reservoir is freaking awesome to fish. Come over here, Round Valley Bait and Tackle. Zach will hook you up. Yo, how do you think it today was? It was fun. I think uh, we caught a pretty good amount of fish. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. No problem, man. That was sick. Anytime. Finally home, dude. It was. It's been a long day, man. It's six hours in the car. I think probably over six hours actually. I had a lot of traffic on the way home. So yeah, man. It has definitely been a long day. But we right now are about to take this knife out. We're gonna clean these dudes right here. Now this is the lake trout. Uh, I'm not sure who exactly caught this lake trout right here. But as you can see, man, that's a freaking nice fish. And I want to see what that is in its stomach. That's definitely gonna be interesting. He, uh, he's got a little bulge right there. Also, we got a little rainbow trout right here, and then I have another one in that bag. Could not fit on this cutting board. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna cut these guys up, then we're gonna put it in the fridge, and we're gonna do a little catch and cook here tomorrow. All right, so here are the two fish fillets. This is, uh, this is the lake trout right here. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot lighter in color, and over here we have the rainbow trout. This is a lot more orange, and Jimmy was saying that that actually has to do with what they're eating. You know, they eat these little shrimp. Oh yeah, so yeah, it's, it's bit, shrimp's crustacean, right? Salmon is technically a white fish, but when they start eating a lot of crustacean, uh, as they digest them, the pigments go right into the meat. So that's how they turn it like orange. Red. You say they taste different too, right? And, yeah, they taste a little different because they have a lot more oil. So the meat is actually a lot more rich. A lot more rich compared to stock farm raised trout. So I'm gonna be trying that out tomorrow as well as this. All right, y'all, it is now the next day. I spent like pretty much all day editing. It's like 9 p.m. right now. So yesterday I woke up at like 3 a.m., drove three hours, drove like four hours home. It's been a long video. So if you guys have enjoyed this so far, make sure to hit that thumbs up 
button. We got cameraman Kelsey over here. We're about to cook this stuff. I'm not a man. Camera woman Kelsey. So here are the two fish that we caught yesterday. This is the, oh God. Oh my God, Michael. <laughs> so, so these are the two fish we caught yesterday. That is the rainbow trout, like the super orangey, like blood orange red kind of color. And this is the, uh, this is the lake trout. This is a little bit of a lighter color. It's interesting because I'm pretty sure they eat the same stuff. And especially compared to the fish we catch like at my local creek or something like that, like the stock fish. They're more of this color. So to see like, this is like really interesting. So even when we went down in New York, this is salmon. If you guys can see that right there, can you see that at all? So compared to these, I mean, when we went down and caught the salmon, Kelsey thought that the the salmon was gonna look more like that color, didn't you? So yeah, I've been waiting a long time to try a fish that's actually, like it looks like that. First of all, it looks cool. Second of all, it looks, it's actually gonna be pretty good. So what we're really gonna do here, just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna turn this on. All right, so we got some olive oil. Instead of using butter this time, Kelsey suggested some olive oil. So I'll put some of that in. All right, so we got some oil in the pan. We also have some of this minced garlic in here. So I'm just gonna put some of that. By the way, this freaking jar, dude, every time me and Kelsey try to open it, it's like the hardest jar to open. Yeah, we're just gonna chill out. We're gonna let that heat up a little bit. Here are the two fish. We're gonna go skin side down first. I'm gonna put this lake trout right into the mixture right there. Then we're gonna put, dude, this freaking rainbow trout looks so good. We're gonna put that guy right in there. Now while it's in there, we're just gonna kind of season them up a little bit. So we're just gonna sprinkle, I don't know if you can see that or not, a little bit of salt on there. We're gonna put a little bit of black pepper on. And then this stuff, man, shout out to my friend Gage. He actually put me on this. Slap your mama, we're gonna put a little bit of this stuff. <laughs> we're gonna put a little bit of this on there. This is like, this is more like a Cajun style, like a little bit more spicy. If you guys saw the flounder catch and cook, I had it on that and it was freaking bomb. So we're gonna put it on that, just like that. So pretty much, I mean, this is just gonna be like a super simple recipe. We just had the oil and we heat that up with some garlic, put some seasoning on it. And as you can see, you can come over real quick. It's starting to actually change color already, as you can see down there. I mean, fish really does not take long to cook at all, especially these tiny little pieces. Basically, I'm just going to do 75% cooked on like the skin and then 25, I'll flip it over and then another 25%. All right, yeah, we're gonna go ahead flip these dudes over just like, oh boy. I think this is done. How's that look? That looks pretty freaking good, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Like, honestly, like that, that looks freaking good. Let's get this up. This is our lake trout right there. This is the rainbow trout. Woo! We did it big time here, man. We whipped up a little meal. We got the rice, we got the greens. So this is actually gonna be my first time ever trying lake trout. And this is gonna be my first time ever trying like a orangey, like crustacean eating uh, like rainbow trout. First, we're gonna go here with the rainbow trout. Let's see. Can you see in there? I mean, so the meat, I mean, is this a little orange to you? So the meat is a little bit different of a color as you expected. I mean, it's more of a Kelsey said, like a peach-ish color. So let's see if this tastes different than the rainbow trout. I mean, you guys have seen me eat rainbow trout so many times like from the stock creeks and everything near me. You know, you gotta try that. I'm not even joking. Like that slap your mama on there too. That is like the perfect seasoning to put on that. That is soup. We're gonna have to go back to Round Valley Reservoir. We got some rice here. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna cut that out. All right, next we're gonna try this lake trout right here. I'm wondering, I think it's gonna be more of a whiter, like kind of pigment to it. All right, there we go. Yeah, so that is definitely like, that is a super white-ish meat compared to that other one. So we're gonna try this out here. First time ever trying lake trout. Again, shout out to Zach, shout out to Jimmy for coming too. A lot of fun to catch. Let's see, uh, let's see how it tastes. That is really, hmm. they definitely taste a lot different. This one, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, the rainbow trout, I feel like it has a little bit more richer of flavor. The lake trout, it tastes really good. It's like kind of what you expect from a white meat fish, you know, it's kind of got like a bit of fishy taste. But this, the, the rainbow trout, man, I don't know how to explain it. I think I might like the rainbow trout just a little bit better. We're gonna come bring Kelsey over. She doesn't want to be on camera right now. She's gonna tell us which one she likes better. And I'm just gonna eat the rest of this, man. I'm so, I'm happy we got all that leftovers. This stuff is freaking bomb, dude. So I just asked Kelsey, I mean, she tried both of them. She couldn't really pick a favorite. And I mean, after, I guess, eating a little bit more of them, I, I mean, it's pretty close. I just really like this rainbow trout because, I mean, I've eaten a lot of rainbow trout in the past. I mean, you guys have seen the other videos. And I mean, compared to the ones that I catch in my local creek, this one, like, it just blew it out of the water. The lake trout, though, definitely is a lot, like, softer. Me and Kelsey kind of noticed that. Like, 
I don't know if that's the way I cooked it, but it's definitely a lot softer of a meat compared to the rainbow trout. And it's definitely, I mean, it was more white of a meat compared to the coloration in the rainbow trout. Now, I don't know what that's about because I'm pretty sure they both eat those shrimp. Maybe the lake trout just eat more like bait fish. I, I don't really know. But yeah, man, that's pretty much gonna be here for this catch and cook here today. I mean, as I said, this did take a while, the whole filming, the whole editing. I spent, I spent this whole day editing. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Shout out again to Zach. I'll leave all of his information in the description. If you guys are ever around Round Valley Reservoir, if you ever wanna take a trip up there, hit up Round Valley Bait and Tackle, man, Zach. He's the man around there. I mean, he knows the lake like the back of his hand. So if you need any information or if you want to go say what's up to him hit up the bait shop that whole thing was just really cool man that was my first time trolling and i mean it was definitely a more effective way of fishing i mean we had 14 or 16 rods in the water as opposed to if you were on land i think you can only have three so yeah that was definitely an interesting experience shout out again to jamie for coming his stuff will be in the description as well yeah man that's pretty much i mean that's gonna do it here for this video today i'm gonna finish this up as always man thank you guys so much for all the support if you guys do enjoy these videos if you're not already make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button and if you never want to miss an upload for me hit that notification bell let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video